Brewing for a long time, and it spills over tonight at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. It's time for our tale of the tape. Ole Alexander Usyk, the former... The Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. This bout is scheduled. A lot of trash talk. And we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. He missed with that jab. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. You just see the nerves on a fight stepping into the ring tone. It can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking up at the corner. You've got one fighter that, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. Nice exchanges from both men in this ring. He parries that left jab away. Carries away that left hook. Counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and react very close round with 10 seconds to go. This fight could not be any closer, could it, Johnny? So important. The referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. He's going to be the first one to get buzzed. He misses with that jab. The hook didn't land. And he misses with that jab. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counterpunch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counterpuncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. A nice exchanges from both men in this round. and they are giving us action. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. That was super tight. I dread being a judge. 
for this fighter. He's got to stick and move and avoid the big shots from the bigger man. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry. Get him frustrated. Make him deviate away from the plan. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Step back for just a moment. And he just missed with that left jab. They call it the glory division. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Who's winning this fight right now? I have no idea. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? One of these athletes is going to be the first to go down. What a punch. Got him with a left jab. determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws and that's a very confident spot to be in. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. round with 10 seconds left. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. 
That was super tight. I dread being a judge. On to the fifth we go. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Got out of the way that right hook. Changes from both men in this round. Blocks that right hook. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. For a certain amount of punches per round. Who's sick? It's going to be a knockdown at least. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Both fighters unwilling to engage in that round. A bit surprised. No, no, keep your eye on the ball. This is when you get knocked up. Let's start the six. but doesn't score with it. That's a scoring left hand. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? How would you deal with an aggressive fight? Oh my, the Ukrainian has been rattled. Good job trying to back out of trouble. Some nice exchanges from both men in this ring. He caught him with a left hook. Hey, those punches add up. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. seem to be like a feel out round. What do you think, Johnny? I know those rounds. You know what? We'll get excited. We want it straight away. But these fighters know what round they've got to work to.
The referee calling for seconds out as we get set for another round. Round seven, here we go. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. the hook. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are the big you and down goes Alexander Usyk. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. <laughs> 